you all are fine and you are doing your classes properly. Have you remember that song, happy song? Let's sing it today. If you are happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you are happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you are happy and you know it, clap your hands. So children, I hope uh, you have remembered this song and you will practice it every day. Because we should always stay happy and if we are happy, we should show that we are happy. The chapter which you are going to start today is completely based upon staying happy children. In this story, this, this tree is uh, always comparing himself with others and feeling sad which is not good. We should stay happy with what we have and with what we are. The way we are, we are good and we are the gift of God. So, we should stay happy and healthy children. Today I will tell you the summary of this chapter. This is the third chapter of your English Mini Gold. I am going to tell you the summary and moral of the story. So let's start today's class. So children, I hope you all are happy. I am practicing the song if you are happy and you know it. Can you see what are these children? These are the forest of fir tree and this is a fir tree. You can see these pictures carefully. The chapter which we are going to start today is based upon the concept of being happy and it is about the fir tree children. So before we start today's introduction class, I want to show you one story. In this story, these birds were not happy because of their physical appearance, their color and they wanted to change themselves. But at the end they came to know that they are special and unique. So let's see today's story of these birds first. Once upon a time, a crow was sitting on a tree and crying. While crying, he said, <laughs> Oh God, why have you done such a thing with me? You have made me black and white and all people make fun of me. Not only color, you have given me such a hoarse and beaten voice that when I sing, nobody likes it. Why have you done this to me? Why God? Why? What a beautiful world! What a beautiful world! He went near the swan and said, You are so beautiful. How do you feel about it? <laughs> Beautiful. Parrot is a beautiful bird. It has two colors and I have only one. God, why have you done this? Why didn't you make me the most beautiful bird? Crow was surprised to hear this. Crow said, You are also poor like me. Let's go and meet Parrot and ask him how he feels about his beauty. They both went away to meet Parrot. You are so beautiful. How do you feel about it? Hearing this, the parrot started crying. I am not beautiful. Peacock is the most beautiful bird. Peacock has so many colors. God, why didn't you make me so beautiful? <laughs> we thought you are the happiest bird, but you are very sad. Now let's go and meet Peacock. We will ask him how he feels about his beauty. You are so beautiful and your dance is awesome. 
you are so beautiful how do you feel about it who says i am king since morning i have been dancing like mad to please others my legs are turning now my life in zoo is worse than hell my beauty has become my enemy i wish if i were a crow then nobody would have caught me and forced me to dance god why didn't you make me crow all became silent after hearing this Peacock says to swan and parrot, "Brother swan, parrot, just go away from here, or else zoo owner will catch you and will keep you here. Go away, just go away, go away." Dear crow, you may also go and enjoy your freedom. I have to live in this zoo all my life and dance every day. Please go away, go away. After watching this, crow says to God. God please forgive me today i came to know that things are not same as we think we should be happy of what we have instead of looking at what we don't have today i am feeling that i am the luckiest bird in this world thank you for all the things that you have given me brother peacock please don't cry i have realized why god has kept you in zoo peacock surprisingly asked him why Because if you were not in zoo, then people would have killed you for your beautiful feathers. Your life has been saved because of this zoo. Thank you, dear friend. Now I will not cry and will entertain everybody with my beautiful dance. So, children, we have seen that uh, those birds, especially the crow, they were not happy, but at last they became happy and they thanked God. In the beginning, they were blaming God, and at last, they thank God. So we should never behave like them. We should always stay happy with what we have and the way we are. In this story, the name of the story is the Little Fir Tree. In this story, this tree was. Not happy in the beginning. Let's see. This lesson is about a fir tree that is granted four wishes by a magician. See this magician. The tree is not happy with its own leaves and asks the magician to change it. What happens? But finally, the tree realizes that it was better off earlier with its own leaves. The theme that emerges from this lesson. The theme that emerges from this lesson is self-esteem. Self-esteem means a good opinion of your own character and abilities, and being content with what one has. The moral of the story is: everyone is special and should be happy with what they have and respect others' uniqueness. Children, everyone is unique. so we should always respect others uniqueness and we should be happy with what we have so this was the end of the introduction part of the chapter the little fir tree i hope you enjoyed today's class and you understood the moral and concept of the story children so thank you have a good day